Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Captain Chords. And we're going to take a look at Captain Deep too. So, thank you to Mixed in Key, the guys over there who sent me the NFRs for these. Now, I've got to be honest with you, um, I would never have used Captain Chords if I didn't know, like, it, it, what it was. Um, because I prepare to play stuff in on the MIDI keyboard, you know, I like to compose myself. However, however, having used this for the last couple of days, I'm very, very, very impressed. And it, I, I did find that it would be something that I would definitely use. So what is it? Right. OK, so you can it will choose chords for me. It will choose chords for you. But, you know, it will in a way choose chords. You can choose chord progression. So the main interface here, as we see, is looking like this and it will start you off for the chord uh, you can choose your key i think it defaults to a minor but you can choose your key from any of these here or on obviously your key and scale and the quickest way to get going with captain chords is to just for a start off choose a progression here and, you know, you, you can see that these are all the great progressions that will work in the key of A minor sort of thing. So if you choose, say, for instance, I, this one, click OK, it will build up a block of chords for you going over four bars. OK, so if we play that now, if I go back to the beginning... So if I liked that, I could just, let me just open my sequencer. I could just drag this clip like this onto here and it would produce those chords. Okay. But I'm going to delete that clip for now because I, I want to show you some other stuff as well. This is very cool. So, okay. Now, I don't know. This is probably a reason thing, but it, it, it occasionally glitches the uh, interface here. So I'll just close that and... Open it again. This is after I've dragged the MIDI clip. Anyway, it doesn't affect the sound. Anyway, right, so let me just get up a cup of coffee. Not only can you choose your chords, but you also have a, a massive range of sounds. So, you know, you, you can, once you've discovered a sound you like, however, you don't necessarily need to use Captain Chords. You can use your VSTs and stuff. You know, you just copied the MIDI clip onto a track with a, another VST on it. That's the easiest way to do it, I found. Anyway, so blocks of chords, yeah. So if you hi, go and hover over any of these chords, you can select the chord you want to work in and you can change it out there, for instance. We could change that to an E minor. And it will only let you use the chords that work in A minor anyway, and then you have some variations underneath. So, for instance, we've just changed that to a, an E minor. Let's change it back to a D minor. And then you can also split any of these chords any way you like. So, for instance, let's split this A minor. Now, hitting this little split button here will split the chord in half. And there it is. And you essentially now have two chords. Okay, so with this one now, we could highlight it and we could choose a different chord. Well, the suspended chords always sound nice following the kind of, you know, the, the, the triad. And we'll do it for this one as well. We'll highlight this chord and we'll split that one in half. And for this half of the chord, we'll choose a, well, sus, uh, well we did a sus4, so we'll do a sus2, suspended two. Okay, so now that would sound like this. Let's 
So I'm, I'm actually quite, re I'm really happy with that as a thing, you know, as a thing to start. And notice I'm in verse here. Yeah, you'll notice that I'm in verse and then we have pre-chorus we can set up and then of course then we can have a drop or a bridge, whatever you like, doesn't really matter. Now, what we're going to do is I quite like that. So I'm at the moment just going to drag that MIDI clip there like that. Okay. So but it's going to completely ignore that MIDI clip at the moment because I'm still working in this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on a bit here. And what I can also do in, in Captain Chords is I can choose from like a zillion rhythms here. So. Okay, so now I've added some variation. I think I might want to drop it down an octave as well, the whole thing. See what that sounds like. Actually, I'll just drop that one down an octave. I'll drop them all down one octave. Okay, see what that sounds like. So I'm happy with that. So what I shall do now is drag this clip here to the second part. And now I have two clips. Now the very cool thing here with Captain Chords is, and I, I, I hoping that my this my first clip has dropped down and knocked as well since I'm still working in verse. Here's the, here's the here's the here's the thing. Right, what I'm going to do now is if I go to MIDI in. And this is where I want to hear my changes, if my changes have taken place. If I go to MIDI in here, okay, Captain Chords now react, is reacting like a, 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 a VST would. So it should theoretically ignore the actual settings that I have here for, that I'm working on and play what I've... It will play as a, as a, as a MIDI instrument sort of thing. So close that out. So... So now Captain Court is playing what I've set up in the two different verse types. Okay. So now what we could do is we could go a little bit further. Let's go back to our verse. And once we go in out of MIDI in and into verse mode, we're now just going to be hearing what's going on here. Okay. So what could we do now? Well, okay, let's... Um, and don't forget we're still in verse mode here. So I am going to, um, what is it? What, what was I going to do? I know I had a, oh yes, I'm going to change the rhythm again. done is moved it up to B flat so what I'm going to do is drag my MIDI clip over here so I basically moved it up a semitone and I'm going to because I'm in reason here and click on that whole control and drag that across there like that okay so now let's make sure we're on loop and I'm going to go back to my MIDI in there. See, I get this weird line that comes down occasionally. It doesn't, doesn't make it not work. Just to, I think it's probably a reason thing. Anyway, who knows? Right, so we, close, uh, we can close that for now and see what happens. So 
Actually, what I need to do is I accidentally dropped that onto another track, so I'm going to put that back on there. But I'll leave that on piano for a minute since I did create another MIDI file. <laughs> Now, can you see how brilliant this is? This is so fast. I've now done my classic transpose with virtually zero work involved for me. So if we open Captain Chords again, and we can go to... Actually, no, I'm going to leave I'm going to leave that as it is, all right? Actually, I'll go to Verse. And I'm going to drop that back down to A for this. And I'm just going to close that back out a sec. We can get rid of that piano. That was just a mistake, wasn't it? Me dropping it in the wrong place. Right, instruments. And we go to now, we're going to go to Captain Deep. Captain Deep. Now, what Captain Deep will do is build me a bass line to suit. Okay. Connect this plugin to Captain Chord. So activate this tab. Connect. Ah, look what's happened now. Right. So I have now created, this has created a bass line for me based on what my Captain Chords is playing. So we'll just, just keep that open. Let's move it out of the way a sec. Open Captain Chords. All right. So bear in mind I've moved this back down to A. All right. Because I want this to be playing in A. If I move up to B, it will adjust. If I move that up to B, it will have automatically adjust everything in Captain Deep to the the key and scale of Captain Chord, again, which is very, very cool. Well, how does it all sound? Well, let's see. We can play, what now what we're gonna do now again is we're gonna ignore what's going on basically in Reason uh, on the clip, clip views and we're gonna just be playing Captain Chords and Captain Bass as we see them here. <laughs> course as with captain chords with captain bass we can also choose lots of different ways to play and we also have like a zillion sounds to choose from as well so let's let's have a quick mess around with some of the things now what i really like is when it says shape follow chords follow the chords opposite movement is very 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 cool and i'll i'll i'll, I'll show you right okay so we, let's just play follow the chords now it's all gonna work because it's all in a minor right so Let's uh, go back to begin and play. see you've got like tons and tons of sounds again that you could use with that's nice so i'm thinking yeah that's cool that's cool for the first part of that track so all I'm going to do is drag this clip onto there. Um, because I'm happy with that, and we don't, you know, our bass is like our bass, isn't it? You know, we don't want to go too mad. I mean, you, you can mess around with different rhythms when you're listening to it with the other track, but I thought it sounded okay. So I so shall put that there. Now, bearing in mind now that we have our transpose section here. So let's go back to... I'm not sure now. Let's go back to Captain Chords here and, and uh, up our thing to the uh, what we had originally here. So we can um, play 
the thing. Let's just close that. So. And let's make this a little bit more uh, interesting. I'm happy with that. For this, for this purpose of this demo, that sounds good to me. Right, okay. So we can drop this in here like this, and I'll just again choose what I might have done there. No, that's fine. I'll just move that across like that. Right, now, remember, go back to MIDI in for the, 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 the for both of them, I shall find Captain Chords. I just closed it, didn't I? And back to MIDI in. So now Captain Chords is behaving like a, a VST, a synth, not and not like in a particular section. So let's see now. this is now playing we can go to our we we'll go to our rack view again open captain chords and I don't need to go into verse or anything to change the sound so I could experiment with different sounds sounds nice We've got some reverb and a few different uh, basic filter. Let's turn it up a little bit. So now you see you're free to carry on adding bits and pieces. So I will get into these in a bit more detail as well, but you can see how easy and quick it is to use. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Captain Cuts, Captain Deep. Quick look there. Quick first look at some of the cool stuff you can do. And yeah, what can I say? It's it's really easy to use. It's You can change all sorts of stuff as well. You know, your default triads. You, you can put different flavors in like 6th, 7th, ninth, 13th. You can increase the complexity. You assume you can drop it down an octave. You can add uh, verses or choruses and stuff. And yes, yeah, so it changes the rhythms. You can even change the different timings and stuff. You know, it's all stuff to start getting into and, and, and mess around with, you know. I think it's very, very good. I do. I do like it. I like it a lot. I love the sounds. And I can use it as a VST and play me sounds in as normal. But I'll get into that in a different video, I think. Rightio, uh, thank you for watching, and if you liked it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron, and I will see you guys later.